Hi there guys, hope you're doing well. This is your friend and tutor Manas. So let's see what this problem has in store. Here we go. A crane is pivoted at the end B and is supported by a guide at A. Determine the reaction produced at A and B by a vertical load W is equal to 5 kN applied at C. Now to begin, let me explain you this entire arrangement. This is what you call the crane. Okay. And at point C on the crane, there is a downward force acting of 5 kN. Now, when this force is applied, the crane may have a tendency to fall down over to this side, to the right hand side, but it does not. Why? Because of this guide at A. Now this guide actually offers a reactive force in the left hand side direction, which prevents the crane from falling down. And what we're going to be referring this to as is RA. All right. Then secondly, we have this point B. So point B is where the pivot is. Now this pivot is such that it restricts the motion of the crane in both the horizontal as well as the vertical direction. Okay. And hence you can have two sorts of forces. One is going to be horizontal this way. So let's say that the name of this force is H B and one more force in the vertical direction. This one, let us call this force as VB. Now both these forces collectively will have a resultant RB. We'll see that ultimately. Now to begin, since everything is in equilibrium, nothing moves whatsoever. Every dimension stays intact. What we're going to do is we're going to use this equation of equilibrium FX zero, FY zero and moment zero. And to start off, I'm going to be using this uh, moment equation initially, and then we'll work our way through FX and FY. So let me use a blue color for this. So summation of moment of all the forces and let us say that we are going to be taking the moment about point B okay the pivot point is equal to zero so let us first worry about this force so this is the force this is the line of action of force 5 kN and if you try to drop a perpendicular from point B so this is going to be that perpendicular okay and this is the intersection point of that perpendicular with this line of action of force now you can write this as say x Okay, so this is the force 5 kN multiplied by this perpendicular distance Bx. So let us write that down 5 multiplied by Bx. Okay, now just try to keep your right hand thumb over here and try to move your baby finger in this direction. You'll realize that this force produces a clockwise moment and clockwise moment has to be taken as negative. Secondly, we have this force Ra. Okay, so what I'm going to be doing is this is the line of action of force of Ra. Let me let me extend this in the backward direction. So this is the line of action of force RA. And if you try to drop a perpendicular from this point B, all right, it's going to end up here. So this is the force RA multiplied by this perpendicular distance BA. So let me write this as R A multiplied by AB. Now, what is the nature of this force? Now, if you keep your thumb, right hand thumb here and try to move your baby finger in this direction, you'll realize that this force produces an anti-clockwise moment and hence it has to be taken as positive. So what about these two forces, HB and VB? Now, since these two forces are passing through that point about which the moment is being taken, okay, so their moment, their corresponding moments are going to be equal to zero. So they have no role to play in this moment equation and hence everything will be equal to zero. So we need to just solve this equation and get the value of reaction at A. How can that be done? Bx, what is Bx? You can clearly see that this Bx, please see where the mouse is hovering, this is Bx. And Bx is clearly equal to what? 2.4 meters. So what I'm gonna be doing is, I'm gonna be putting up uh, minus five into this 2.4 and plus Ra multiplied by AB. So what is AB? Please watch this carefully, this is AB. Okay, so AB is equivalent to how much? 1.8 meters. So in place of AB, I'm going to be writing 1.8 is equal to zero. You just need to solve this equation. RA shall work out as five multiplied by 2.4 divided by 1.8. And when you put these values into a calculator, you're going to get the value of RA ultimately equal to 6.66 kilonewtons. Now let us go ahead and let us use this second equation of equilibrium. Okay, so I'm going to be using this summation of all the forces in x direction is equal to zero. So what are the forces in this direction in the x direction? One is this HB, right hand side positive. Other one is this RA left hand side negative. So HB minus RA is equal to zero. HB minus R 
a is equal to zero and you can work out this hb will obviously be equal to ra and ra already has been computed this is ra 6.66 so you can say that the value of hb has worked out as 6.66 kilonewtons now we'll go ahead and use this final equation of equilibrium summation of all the forces in y direction is equal to zero so what are the forces in y direction one is this vb uh, while the other is this 5 kilonewton force in the downward direction so this will be taken as negative this will be taken as positive so we have this v b minus 5 is equal to zero all right and this is pretty simple and vb will be equal to 5 kilonewton eventually all right so hb is equal to 6.66 and vb is equal to 5 kilonewton this is 6.66 and this is 5 kilonewton now we'll try to find the final resultant at point B. So resultant at point B is given by this formula. This is very simple. Please watch this. HB square plus VB square. And when you put in these values, you're going to get the reaction in the form of 5.33 kilo newtons. That's it. So guys, that was all from my side for today. If you like the content and presentation in this video, do give it a big thumbs up. And if you believe that this video tutorial has added value to your knowledge of mechanics, then do recommend this channel to your friends and classmates so that all of them can benefit. I'll see you again with a new problem. Until then, it's a wrap. This is Manas Patnaik signing off. Take care, have a great day and keep learning.